Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how easy it is to edit with LSP. I have this baby on the backdrop. Now understand that a lot of people say they struggle with editing and when I look at their images, I think the before images aren't strong enough. So you want to make sure that your actual straight out of the camera images look good. So you can see the background is blurred. I'm shooting at 2.8 in the studio like I always do. 200, 200, 2.8. Posing wise, her body is tilted slightly away from the camera. So the emphasis is on the face. This kind of bugs me a little bit. So I'm undecided if I'm going to take that out or not. If I do, I may jump over to Photoshop 2024 and use AI to get rid of that. But right now I'm going to focus on cleaning up her skin. And what I do is I'll kind of just use the patch tool and just kind of get some big things that are bugging me out of the way. And always make sure when you're editing your screen on your, whatever you're editing on is clear because we all know if there's a, like if your screen is dirty, you're going to have a hard time editing because you're going to think it's the subject. So I'll kind of just go in and just pick, you know, just like things that are really standing out to me and just use my patch tool very delicately. Her lip is a little turned down there and I feel like I want to bring it up a little bit because it looks a little droopy. So I'll go into liquify, bring this brush down a little bit and let's see if I can just bring it up a little bit so it doesn't look like it's so turned down. You still want it to kind of look natural. Um, but it's just a tiny bit droopy also on her eye. I see that over here as well. So I can try and do that and bring in kind of just right here a little bit. And then I can just try and remove this, this dent right here. Just a little bit. Okay, so I am a big fan of LSP Actions. I talk about them all the time because, you know, I do a lot of sessions and hand editing, it takes a lot of time. I do have an editor that helps on the cleanup. Um, but there's many times that almost every day I want to share an image on social or post or do a tutorial for my classes and I need to do it myself. And so I can hand do all of this in detail like we did for years, or I can use LSP. So I have the LSP Signature Newborn Action Suite. And when you come down here, it's kind of loaded with a million things. I like to do the Newborn Skin Perfection Base 2 right here and just hit play. Now understand that when you do that, this is a pretty, um, it's a pretty big action. So sometimes it may take a hot minute. Now you can see already the changes in her skin. And what I love about LSP is, well, so many things, but number one, this is all layered. So if I change my mind or if I want to change the opacity of the layer, I can do that. So I can turn this on, I can turn it off, but see already that difference. And it still keeps the texture of her skin. And, you know, understand that you can change the opacity your brush, you can change your hardness, you can bring your opacity down. So it's just kind of a very delicate touch. You obviously don't want to lose, you know, too much detail of who she is and you want to preserve that, but you just kind of want good skin and there's nothing wrong with that. And so we're going to go in here and we're just going to kind of, I'm just kind of delicately going in and cleaning it. Now the level of, you know, coverage you want, it's like putting makeup on. I mean, it's kind of a personal preference, right? Some people want the baby super smooth. Some people don't want them edited as much. Um, some people want all natural. I mean, you know, it's a very personal thing. It's like lighting. I say it's subjective. It's subjective to the user. So I'll turn this opacity down just a little bit more because I just want to go in here and just get some of that dry skin without ruining her hair. Now I did notice this up here and sometimes I can come up here and just kind of clean up. And if not, I'll just use the patch tool on other things. Okay. So I like it. I like it already. Again, let's do the before and after. See the difference? See that? You can create a little snapshot. Create a snapshot. Okay, so 
I'm one of those people where I'll commit where once I'm happy, I'll just flatten it because I like to just commit. And I'm going to come up here and I am going to just remove that stray hair that was bugging me. Just there and there and there. Okay. And then the other thing I want to do is I like in LSP how she has this sharpening. Now she also has this great um, one. It's blotchy and patchy skin. That one's really good. Jaundice, all sorts of things. Um, but I do like, let's see, we're going to go down and there's a sharpen lashes and details. And I do like to do that. I'm going to go higher on the opacity because I like to kind of sharpen and just emphasize the beautiful details of this baby. She's just like my favorite. I love this baby. Now she does have a bit of red in her face. Uh, so you know, I can go, there's so many ways I can do that. I can do it manually. She does have a reduce the reds normal. So I can come in here and play it. I am going to take the opacity down because I don't want to remove, I don't want to remove all of it. I, I want to preserve kind of her skin. And sometimes I feel like if I do it, it makes it too much. So see just a tiny bit, tiny bit. And there, um, I do notice her chin is way over there, and I think it's just the position of her, the baby, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Now, I really want to remove this. It's kind of bugging me. So I'm going to save this, and whenever I do something as a sample, I just save it as a sample. Oh, I know what else I wanted to show you. She has, Lauren, who runs LSP, does have vignettes, and I love vignettes because it focuses on just kind of the baby. She also has great, you know, uh, black and white actions. So if I do vignette dramatic, look at that. See how it just, like I love that. Now the focus is on the baby and the light just looks magical. So I'm happy with that. So we're gonna close that out and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open it up in Photoshop 4 uh, because I, I feel like if I try to clone this, it'll, I may not do such a good job. I can try it. Um, but because of this texture, I'm going to let AI try it and see. And if not, I'll do it. So I think I can just do generative fill and hit generate without giving it a command and seeing what's going to happen. Well, let's see. I've been running back and forth between 2023 and 2025. Okay, this is silly, but we'll try it again. I am going to just bring it down so it's just kind of that string. Why does it do that? I haven't the foggiest idea. It's new, so it's buggy. I, I don't think it's 100%. I don't think AI is going to replace everybody all the time all at once. Uh, it's a process. See, it still does not want to do it. I don't know why. So now let me try typing a command and let me just say remove and see what happens. And if it doesn't, I'll just manually do it. I really wish I knew the theory behind that. So um, here are, didn't do anything. So if I come over here, oh, it kind of did. Kind of not. I don't know what's happening. If you hear little noises, it's because I have these new puppies who are obsessed with my shoes right now. And they are fighting tug of war over my shoes. So, all right, let's see. I'm going to try this one more time. I don't know why AI doesn't want to do this. It's not that hard. If it doesn't do it, this time I'll clone it. So... I could probably do a couple of different prompts, but yeah, it just doesn't want to do it. I don't know. I don't know why. I'll have to go and look at some of the different prompts. So I'll just kind of do some cloning and see if that does it. I think that it's not a deal breaker. But you just have to be careful with the shadows. All right. So... I did it quicker than doing this AI, so that's fine. I'm happy with it. So, cool. All right, so that's just a little tiny, just wanted to give you a little tutorial on simple baby cleanup. Again, 
you need a good image to start with. I think that's the most important. If you're interested about any of these things in here, they're all in my store, shopannabrent.com. I'm obsessed with this backdrop and wrap. And we have pillows and bonnets and we're stocking the store and adding all sorts of things. So check it out, shopannabrand.com. If you want any courses on editing, bellybabyschool.com. And of course, AI, the AI Creative Collective.com. My name is Anna Brandt. I hope this little tiny tutorial was something you enjoyed.